Yo, what's up, guys? Um, Scrapyard QS here, aka Orbify GFX, and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a 3D logo using Photoshop and Cinema 4D. We're gonna start off in Photoshop. In this case, I'm gonna be using Photoshop CS6. Um, you could be using Photoshop CS5. There's not much of a difference. Okay, and at the very top of the tab, you're gonna go to File, New, and it should say 500 500 for you but I just got out of Photoshop so you're gonna put it to 750 pixels and keep that at 500 click OK and then you wanna get a text object and you wanna put it to 250p <coughs> sorry and then uh, let's say your clan is I don't know let's say your clan's name is red just put a letter R representing the first letter of your clan name put that down then go to your <coughs> rounded ellipse tool and hold shift and then drag it once you do that <coughs> get it positioned where you want and then go to your fill and then go right here with that line crossing the square and click that <coughs> damn I've been coughing a lot today guys and then you want to go to your th this little number right here I don't know it should say a number then PT go down on it and then raise it up uh, raise it up to kinda how thick you want it but I need to put this in the kind of in the center of the text just like that pretty thick alright um, let me position it using the arrow keys and then go back on your ellipse go back to your ellipse tool and I need to put the stroke to black <coughs> and then let me bring up this a little bit more to where it's touching the letters oh damn we don't want that we don't want that fucking much alright and if you don't if it's like too hard to like get it positioned where it's touching the letters you can go right here to the rectangle tool and then kind of get it to where you want it like how big the uh, width on your letters are and then hit control T and then kind of like make it straight <coughs> let's see and then just bring it over make sure it's touching the thing right there and then hit the apply to see what it looks like change over to the background it looks pretty good Need to, it needs to go over a little bit alright and then just duplicate that rectangle and then control T right over there apply transformation and it obviously needs to be moved over some so I'm gonna move it over and bam <coughs> it's matching up on the letter just like that once you do that well, you know what? I'm going to put one over here too, so make it look more sicker. Duplicate that layer. Bring it up over here. Control T. Kind of get it straight. And then get it up here. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, there we go. That should be good. Bring it, adjust it using the arrow keys. <coughs> Apply the transformation. Uh, a little bit more down. It's kind of ugly looking. About right there. Yeah, that's that's good. All right. Once you do that, what you need to do is go put the uh, background off from view by clicking the little eyeball. Go to the top layer, right click, and then go to Merge Visible. This will merge everything that is showing. And then once you do that, you want to go to the magic wand tool, right over here and then click on your logo and it should give this little outline and then you want to go to paths then you want to click right down here it's like a little circle and it has things sticking out of it um, that's to create a new work path you click on that damn it somebody got in my way click on that bam it makes a work path then you want to go to file save uh, save for web and devices wait no never mind never mind that's I'm talking I'm, I'm thinking about something else 
you want to go to export paths to illustrator okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and put example logo <coughs> save it and then exit out of Photoshop you're done with that part and then after that you want to go to cinema 4d and wait for the program to load and then you want to go to file open and then find wherever you saved I saved it right here click on that okay and bam there's your logo but we don't want just the outline of it we want it filled in and to do this we're going to click on this extrude nerves and drag the logo into the extrude nerves and there you go it fills it once you want it once you got it filled um, sometimes it will do this depending on how many work paths you use in Photoshop it'll put it off to the side we don't want that we want it positioned right so just go to movement over here and it should it should uh, move it pretty much into the center uh... yeah and then that's pretty much the logo right there that's in 3d but if you want to give it a little bit more sick effect bring down the movement keep doing this until you get it just right alright that's good yeah you just bring it down till it's a little bit more slimmer and then you go over here to extrude nerves and control C control V and we're basically going to stack it and you do it a little bit that way and a little bit that way and I, you keep doing that until it's perfectly aligned with the first extrude nerves and it doesn't matter how big the gap is as long as it's not too big like you see the little gap in between the logos that looks pretty good right there so I'll just keep that and then shift click over on the both of them control C control V and this will duplicate both of them and you just repeat keep repeating the process until you get uh, however many extrude nerves stacked as you want uh... there we go alright that looks good oh shit the gap is not closed uh... yeah that looks pretty good and then shift click shift click control c control v and it'll copy all the layers there you go and then it looks a little bit more sicker doesn't it guys um... Yeah, I, it looks pretty good to me. Once you do that, you're pretty much done. And I'm going to show you guys how to save it so it's in HD. So you click on Edit Render Settings right here. You click on Output. Okay, it's already there. You go to this little arrow, Film slash Video. And then you go to HDTV 720.25. And this will basically give it uh, HD um, settings right here. You go to Save save it to wherever you want I'm not going to be saving this because it's just an example you go to PNG and then click alpha channel and then once you do that you go to anti-aliasing go to best and then go to max level 2x2 and you're all done right here and then go to effect all the way down here ambient occlusion and then global illumination and if you want to add a um, if you want to add a color then just go to create down here and then go to new material if you if you want to create a new one if you want to load a material pack into cinema 4d just go to load materials um, and then you'll find it pretty much you just gotta go to your materials and click on it <coughs> and then you just color it by dragging the materials over on the side here and then yeah um, Thanks for watching my first tutorial guys. Um I hope you like it. Please drop a like or a comment and please subscribe me. It really helps a lot. Thank you very much. Peace out guys.